the biggest thing was that I just wanted to be the player that I wanted to be when I was eight years old in the backyard. You imagine yourself getting to the big leagues, but you're always the superstar. You're never in the big leagues and not doing well. For me, it was just this undying like to get to that point where I was what I wanted to be when I was eight. And it wasn't because I wanted more money or a big contract. I just wanted to be good at the highest level you could be good at. You think about the dreams that you've had as a young kid and mine have all come true. It's been 17 years since Ryan Vogelsong first stepped into the clubhouse as a giant. But putting on the uniform and taking the field today will be anything but routine. You nervous? Yeah. 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 You nervous? Yeah. Oh, man, man, let me go. I'll see you. Yes. <laughs> what are you nervous? Dad, you're never nervous. I know. That means I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm excited for the day. I mean, I'm honored for the day, but I'm sad because it's, I know it's the end. You know, I didn't play all year, and when I left spring training, I knew I was done. So the fact that they're allowing me to walk off the field is, is super, super important to me. Drafted in 1998 and debuting in 2000, Vogelsong's career began in San Francisco. In 2001, he was traded to Pittsburgh, but was sidelined by Tommy John surgery for the next year and a half. After a full season of starting and two seasons of relief pitching, he became a minor league free agent. In 2007, Ryan and his wife Nicole made the move to Japan. If the road to the big leagues is winding, the road back is even more uncertain. Yet three seasons later, the Vogel songs returned to the States for a minor league contract with the Phillies. After being released, Ryan signed another minor league deal with the Angels. Then in 2011, after playing winter ball in Venezuela, he received an invitation to spring training from the team that gave him his start 13 years earlier. Nicole is always the optimist, and I'm very the pessimist or realist. Um, so, you know, the days when it was really bad, the days when I was in Japan, and I'm saying to her, we're never going to do this, it's never going to happen. She always believed that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. His first ever home start with the team he began his professional career with more than a decade ago. On Mother's Day, 2011, Vogel Song marked his return to San Francisco with a dominant start against Colorado. Got him. Listen to the fans for the right-hander Vogel Song. And Vogel Song tips his cap. To these Giants fans, he's been waiting a long time to be able to do that. Having a crowd cheer for him and having him walk off the field and hold his cap up and just realizing like that it was almost like all the journey and all the years and all the struggles came, came to that moment and every bit of the journey would have been worth it just for that day. But that one day was just the beginning. As the season progressed, Vogie won nine of his first 10 decisions and posted one of the lowest ERAs in the league. See you later. Curveball of beauty. 
And he got him. Vogel's song has been sensational, especially with men on base. At the knees, strikes recall. Vogel Song's improbable comeback made national news when he was selected to appear in the All-Star Game. When you're on that line and you announce this giant, your name is called. What do you think that's going to feel like? I can't wait to find out. Like when I'm in the game now, I see stuff. And I, I'm thinking, I, I can think. Before it was, I just would grab the ball and throw it. Now, like, I see something, I'm, I miss a pitch, and I'm pretty much feeling it when I do it. For me, um, I'm not really going to try and change too much. Um, I've been having pretty good success with the approach that I've had right now. So uh, I'm just going to try and stick with that, game the game, pitch to pitch, and um, just kind of keep this role going as long as I can. To introduce this year's winner of the Willie Knight Award, Ryan Pogelsoff. Last year was my time. It, it took, you know, 11 minor league years and three years in Japan, and that's what it took for my time to click, and, you know, I, I wouldn't change it for a second. Man, just when, uh, when I think things are going to slow down a little bit, <laughs> they just keep getting better. And the fact that my teammates voted this award for me uh, means so much to me. You know, when I started this journey this year, it was all about just uh, becoming a better baseball player, trying to get back to the big leagues and, and being the best giant I could. And along the way, this inspirational story has come about. So hopefully my story can inspire some people and, and help get you through some things that you need to get through. If someone came to me and said, 10 years down the road, you're going to have to go through all these things to have the magical season you were having in 2011. I go, let's do it. I'm all in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How would you describe Bogey on a game day? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like a rattlesnake. How so? I don't get close to him, don't talk to him, don't look at him, or he's going to get bit. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> I mean, that's easy. That's the first first thought that I think will come to mind. For the four days that he's not pitching, one of the best guys around. On that fifth day when he's starting, one of the most intense guys. Guys have told me, like, hey, you might want to avoid him on, uh, on game day. You know, he was a catalyst for just focus and determination, and that's, you know, that's what he stood for, and that's what he was. You know, the bigger the game, the better he pitched. The day the Giants will either win and extend their postseason or lose and go home as they take on the Reds in Cincinnati. As the 2012 Giants ventured into October, Vogelsong took his game to new heights. Her ball struck him out swinging. Seven in a row, retired by Vogelsong. The playoffs were made for Vogelsong because Vogelsong treats every start like it's a playoff start. Vogelsong takes the ball for the second time these playoffs for the Giants here tonight. You take on kind of the vibe of the starting pitcher and you could feel how focused and how much he had put into it and that leaks into you. That's strike three, tailing pitch, strikeout number four. And the fans here at AT&T Park are acknowledging the great work tonight of Ryan Vogelsong. I never thought I would get to the point on a baseball field where I had to back the adrenaline down. But in that situation, I did, especially when I'm on the mound and, and they're chanting bogey and guys are on base. They want to strike out. He's got to be nervous. He's got to be pumped up. And to be able to just uh, paint like he, he painted through the playoffs, it just shows you how control he is of his emotions. Giants fans are getting ready for this one, game six of the National League Championship Series. I mean, I've never seen his stuff as good as it was against the Cardinals there. His stuff, I, I know the Cardinals, after the first inning, were in the dugout talking to each other going, uh-oh, I mean, this guy's on. He is on. Another strike.
strikeout for Vogelsong. That's the best I've ever thrown the ball in a major league game. Eight strikeouts for Vogelsong. Swing and a miss. He got him. And that is a career high at strikeouts. So when he took them out in postseason, I was glad he was out there because one of the reasons he wanted to sign with the Giants because he wanted to play in a World Series with the Giants. Under it, back pedals. He's got it. The Giants win the pennant. Mirroring Bogey's tenacity on the mound, the Giants battled through six elimination games to reach the World Series. This team doesn't quit. You know, this team doesn't quit. This is what stands out the most to me. Here we are in Detroit at Comerica Park, just minutes away now from the first pitch of this game three. The matchup will feature Ryan Vogelsong, who has just been unbelievable for the Giants. He's really been their best starting pitcher, and the Giants have had some good ones this postseason, but Vogelsong has been tremendous. Vogelsong with the bases loaded, ready. Two and two pitch. Struck him out swinging. If you talk to him personally or you listen to him talk, uh, He's been waiting for this his whole life. The ball game is over. The Giants have a three games to none lead, a second consecutive shutout. 2 2 pitch on the way. Cabrera takes strike three call, and the Giants have won the World Series in Detroit. It's, this is something that's uh, it's a dream come true. I mean, and, and I know that's a cliche, a lot of people say it, but if you really sit down and think about stuff that you dreamed about actually coming true, it, this is an amazing moment for me. That feeling I had through this postseason is what you try to get every game. And, and it's not something you can create, it just happens. Let's go Giants! He's, he's come a long way. He's had some, some journeys, some ups, some downs, a lot of downs. But the quality he has is he's relentless. Oh, more confetti, buddy. Thank you. And he's a perfectionist, and he works hard. And if you have those ingredients and you do come up across some bumps in the road, you're probably going to overcome them. With one world championship under his belt, Vogelsong's hunger for success only intensified. Got him. Got him, and that'll end the inning. I think Willie Mace quote that's all over our clubhouse. It's not that hard to be good. You know, every once in a while, it's being really good every day. That's what drives us as baseball players, and being really good every single day you step on the field. He's out! A pickoff for Vogelsong. And a fair ball down the right field line. Tap back to the pitcher. And Vogelsong's got a complete game. How about that? Brian Vogelsong was the man tonight. In October 2014, Vogie found himself in familiar territory. You guys have earned this, celebrate, enjoy this. I hope it sparks us. I hope guys enjoy this so much that they want to do this about three more times. And the starting pitcher, he takes the field with his teammates behind him. Ryan Vogelsong, who has been a postseason hero before. I just love this time of year. You, you got to love the playoffs. You got to love the atmosphere here in this ballpark. They, they bring it for us every night, and, and the playoffs is even better. And here it is. Strike three ball, a fastball, got it. He's nailing the knee-high corner locations on both sides of the plate. Swing! He struck him out at 94. I think guys step up and, and do the things they, they, that we're capable of doing in the playoffs because it's all of us together. Worth into the opposite field. Pence back at the wall and makes the catch! You, you step up and you pick guys up and it, it, it's all of us. We, we, we rub off on each other. And listen to this crowd for Vogelsong. The Giants have won the division.
Division Series. They beat the Washington Nationals and let the celebration begin. You know, he done what he, he's, he's always done for, for this organization in the playoffs. I mean, he goes out there and he somehow raises his, his level of play, you know, to the point where, you know what, this guy is, he's pitching like a number one. Yes! Yes! Just a spectacular evening for baseball. Vogel song on the mound. A win here tonight, and the Giants would have a chance to close out the series at home tomorrow. He has that uh, that knack to rise to the occasion, and in particular the postseason. I don't think we lost any of his starts, and that's just a testament to his ability to go out there and um, rally the troops and get the guys behind him. And, and sharing his belief with them that we're gonna go out there and do some special things. Man, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, you go back in 2010 when these guys were winning the first one, I was in winter ball, you know, trying to, trying to pitch my way to get another job. And uh, so to get to the first one was amazing. And then to be able to go to another one is unreal. Vogelsong will get the start. The Giants have won every game that he has ever started in postseason play. They're six and zero, including two and zero this year. You know, I've said many times, you wait your whole life to get opportunities like this to pitch in the playoffs and pitch in the World Series. Salvador Perez, the two-two. From my perspective, that ball goes up, and I couldn't tell if it was going in the seats or staying on the field. So then he catches it, and I go to run out the gate, and the guy couldn't get the gate open. So now I'm like double tracking to another gate to get out there, and uh, that's about as fast as I've run on these 37-year-old legs in a long time. I'll cherish this as a coach until the day I die. For him to be able to go through all what he did and to prove to people that he could do it the way he wanted to do it, there's just an immense sense of pride for me to watch him go out there and now do it in a place where he always felt like he was belonged anyway and was pitching in this park. The guy's just, he's a warrior in a sense that he's ready to go. When it's his time, he wants to carry the team and he wants to do what he can do to win a ball game. For us, anything that was ever good that happened on a baseball field happened here. And um, it, was, it was hard leaving here last year, but, um, but it was like we never left. After one more season in San Francisco, the future of Vogelsong's career was unknown. Congratulations, Vogel. Love you, man. Love you. Thanks for everything you've given us, Thank man. You. I don't know where I'm going to be at next year or what the front of my jersey is going to say, but I do know one thing. I will always, always be a giant. On a new team in a familiar city, he maintained his grit and determination. But during a regular start one August evening, it was clear that Giants fans still considered him one of their own. And now fans are standing in acknowledgement of one of the great Giant Warriors, and that's Ryan Vogelsong. Vogelsong retires, and another standing ovation from the Giants fans. Thanks for the memories, Vogie.
Though baseball has taken the Vogelsong family all over the world, their home has always been with the Giants. Hey, I'm good, honey. How are you? Oh, well, That's good, good to see you. See you. So when he decided to stop playing in the spring of 2017, Ryan knew he wanted to finish his career where it all began. When I was walking out of a spring training complex in Fort Myers in March and I knew it was the end, I mean, that's not really how anybody wants to go out. And so I'm thankful as well to the Giants for, for giving me a chance to do this. There's no doubt that we love it here, that we've always loved it here, and that there was nowhere else that, um, that we ever wanted to be. I got drafted by the Giants in 1998, and not long after that, I went to my first Giants game in Candlestick. And I walked by a souvenir stand and I saw a t-shirt, and it said, all men are created equal, but some of us are lucky enough to become Giants. It means it's special, and it's special because our front office picked certain guys to put on this uniform that says Giants. And there's something so honorable about wearing this jersey, I can't even describe it to you. And it's special because of this city, and it's special because of you. Because you're loyal, because you're energy, because you're passionate, and because you support us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's exactly what I was talking about, the eight-year-old boy like. That was what I was looking for for a long time. Thank you so much. <laughs>